To understand how traits passed down from ancient relatives influence our health and behavior today, I had a swab of my own DNA analyzed and flew to a lab in San Diego to see how much of them still lives on in me. Nathan? Oh, hey. Hey, hey how are Hi. you, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Pleasure. You. Actually, it's not nice to meet you. I'm very nervous to meet you. Why? Because, you know, when we talk about early human ancestors, it's all been very hypothetical up to this point, but now it's you have my real. DNA. It's getting real. It's this getting is personal real. now. That's right. When we look at your DNA, there are traces, little snippets, that hint at early, quite mysterious forebears who probably date back 40 to 50,000 years ago. Who, who am I related to? I'm not sure if you're ready. These are ancestors who, who many folks might not even call human. Okay. So they looked a lot like this. These are Neanderthals. Uh, I'm sorry, I have Neanderthal DNA. You have Neanderthal DNA. What percentage Neanderthal am I? Roughly two. Wow. I'm a Neanderthal, it's official. In 2010, geneticists extracted and sequenced DNA from Neanderthal fossils. The results shocked the world. Humans and Neanderthals were getting together and getting it on. If your family traces largely to, to East Asia or to Europe, you likely have some Neanderthal ancestry. Does having some Neanderthal in my DNA, could that mean something? Yeah, it could for you. You've got spellings of a gene called Adam TSL3, okay. which helps make muscles and helps them run. We don't know exactly how yet that oh, spelling- I was got. hoping you were gonna say it was gonna make me strong. Well, we don't know yet. The science is still young, but Neanderthal DNA has been linked to everything from muscle physiology to tobacco addiction to immune system responses. But not all of the relatives that Nathan found are ancient history. You can identify a relative of mine. We can identify a relative of yours, and in fact, this is another TV Gates. Another TV Gates? <gasps> Henry Skip. Louis Gates, Skip Gates from PBS, so Faces of America and wow. Finding Your Roots. It's like looking in a mirror, almost. It turns out that Skip and I share genetic material from an Irish medieval king. So do about three million other people. It sounds impressive, but finding royal ancestry is surprisingly, well, common. Charlemagne can be linked to most folks from Europe, and if you're Asian, chances are there's a little Genghis Khan in you. It's all a numbers game. You have two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and on and on in an ever-increasing pool. Go back just 3,000 years, and every person on Earth has a shared common ancestor. In other words, we're all related.